We've been able to take live photos using the iPhone camera app for many years now. A live photo is going to include about three seconds of video and audio along with the full resolution still image. When in photos, any live photo is going to have a live photo menu in the upper left when viewing it. To watch the live photo, tap and hold anywhere within the image. Tap on the live menu and we can switch the live photo to loop which will just repeat the video from start to finish. Notice how it fades back to the first frame during each loop. Choose bounce and the video will play forward and then reverse and so on. Long exposure will create a motion effect, which works well with flowing water or objects moving in one direction. In this example with the waterfall, switching to long exposure adds a nice motion blur to the flowing water, but the rest of the image remains in focus. Turning Live Photo off will remove any motion and sound, leaving only the still image when viewing in your library. But the Live Photo can be reactivated at any time. Next, let's jump into Edit Mode with a Live Photo. When we do that, a Live button will appear to the left of the Adjust button. So like this, and we're able to trim the beginning or end of the live photo or change its key photo. The key photo is the frame of the live photo that's going to represent it as a still image in the library. To adjust the key photo, tap and drag on this box to move it on the timeline. If I prefer a different frame to represent this photo, I can just leave the box there and tap Make Key Photo. We also have trim handles at either end of the timeline. Use these to keep just the best part of the live photo. Tap Done, and now that frame for the key photo is changed, and the video is just a bit shorter. Back out in the library, we can view all our live photos at any time from the Media Types album. This will even include live photos that have had the live photo effect deactivated. To make a live photo a true standard still image, we can duplicate it as a still. That duplicate will no longer appear in the live photos media type album. So we now have a live photo version of this image and a separate still image version.